Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a Discord bot uh, that's powered by SuperAgent and built on top of a service called AutoCode. So what we are trying to achieve is a Discord bot similar to the one I built a couple of weeks back for our Discord channel, which is called SuperBot. SuperBot is basically trained on all the uh, code and documentation that we have on SuperAgent and it can answer questions like how do I create an AI assistant and the bot will answer by looking into the, its context which is our code and documentation that we have for SuperAgent and give you a pretty straightforward answer on how to accomplish this. So this is what we are after to build and we will start by navigating to AutoCode. So you need to sign up for AutoCode, uh, which is a prerequisite for this uh, tutorial. You also need to actually connect your Discord account, but all of that is, um, you know, all of that is uh, documented on the AutoCode uh, website and how to do that. And you could, you know, uh, basically, uh, read through this and and try to uh, create it yourself and what you want to do is you want to press install here on this basic discord bot example and we can give it a name here test let's see and then press next and then you need to link your discord account and after that you need to um, install the app And here you see me linking it. And when you've pressed install app, it will install the app and you will be redirected to a view that looks basically like this. Um, and it won't have this DM folder. So the first thing you want to create is a DM folder under the Discord uh, folder here. And inside of that DM folder, you want to create a file called create.js. And you want that file to have um, this code that I have here. I will paste this code, um, or rather give a link to this code or a gist on GitHub to this code so that you can use it in your own bot. But I'll go through this step by step uh, in order for you to understand how the basics of this work. So the first thing we need is our SuperAgent token and we get that token by uh, logging into our SuperAgent dashboard, going to settings, API keys, and then just copy that over, right? So that's the first thing we need. Uh, we also need an agent ID. So we actually need to create an agent inside of a SuperAgent and then attach uh, that agent ID and paste that in here, basically. As you see, I've commented out a couple of uh, things here, which you will need later on, but that's because we don't actually have this bot connected to Discord yet, and we are not receiving any incoming um, payloads. Uh, you will also have to choose this trigger for this file. So it's the Discord service and the DM dot create trigger and you just press save and you will you'll get it exactly like we have it here basically and so what happens here is that whenever an, a message is sent to the bot this code gets triggered and what we are doing here is that whenever this gets triggered we are making a post request to the super agent rest api for our specific agent id that we have created and inside of that Right now, I'm only passing in hi, but you should be passing in the context of the event that was, uh, and the context is basically the message, the content of the message that the user sent to the bot. And we will have to add that as the input to our assistant. We will also need to add the session ID with the author ID, which we have defined here, which is commented out at the point at this point but you shouldn't you should remove this comment uh things here when you're going live and this 
basically tells the assistant to create a specific session for the chat that the user has invoked inside of Discord so that we don't, uh, you know, have several different users talking to the same instance of the assistant. So each user gets their own instance with their own chat history and all of that stuff. Here I also have a little code snippet which basically gives a typing like animation inside of Discord. So it says like the superbot is is typing when you write it, uh, when it's trying to write a message. And then we will also need to uh, fetch, basically when we do the post request, we'll get an output from the assistant and that output needs to be sent to the channel uh, that is open for that user. So you need to actually comment this out as well. But Let's go ahead and create a assistant inside of SuperAgent and then um, see if this works. So we'll just call this Discord, Discord Assistant. And of course you can attach, you know, whatever data sources or APIs or whatever you want to this. In our case, we trained it on our documentation, but you can train it in or, or attach whatever APIs or data sources that you have uh, assembled basically inside of a super agent and connect that to your assistant. So what we will need to do is to, to copy this uh, agent ID that we have here and go back to uh, our uh, little bot here and then paste that in there. So now we have our agent ID, we have our token, we are doing the post request and hopefully uh, we'll get a response back here. So let's save this and then try to run it and see what happens. So as you see here, this actually gets triggered. So I sent in hi and it returned, hello, how can I assist you today? Um, and that's basically it. So what we will need to do now is to actually uncomment all of these and uh, ship a release version of this autocode Discord bot and have it installed on our Discord server. So depending on how you want to build your assistant, you can build it however you want. But the main thing to have in account is that it needs to the end code that you ship in your release should look like this and we'll uncomment all of this as well and we can remove this console log we don't need that and then we'll just so this should be the final version where we actually paste this output back to the discord uh, channel that the user has uh, asked the question in or typed in. So how that would look is like, great, thank you for your help. And as you'll see here, it will start typing. Superbot is typing, which is basically the um, this part of the code. And then it will return an answer. So this is how it works and it's super simple to set up uh, and you know if you have any questions you can always reach me on our discord channel or ask the super bot if you would like to uh, and uh, happy coding this is basically how we do it thank you very much have a nice day bye